You guys, look what I found. This is a relic, an artifact. This is The Sims 1 for GameCube. <laughs> and you bet we're firing this up today. While The Sims 1 for PC was launched in February of the year 2000, The Sims 1 didn't hit the consoles until March of 2003. Don't worry, I also found my entire collection of old Sims PC games. We'll get there. This game was my childhood. My eight-year-old self lived for this game, which is wild because this game was absolutely not meant for eight-year-olds, as we'll soon see. Now, don't get me wrong, I was absolutely more of a PC player when it came to any Sims game, especially The Sims 1, because this game is freaking hard. <laughs> and it's arguably a thousand times harder on console, especially if you're playing on the story mode, which is what we're going to be doing Today. Basically, in this goal-based story mode, we'll start off at uh, mom's house and we'll need to complete a bunch of different objectives as we move from household to household until we reach the ultimate goal, luxury. The entire thing is a wild ride, so without further ado, I've got my controller and let's jump into The Sims 1 on console. EA Games. Challenge everything. I am so excited to play this game. Get a life. Right off the bat, it's gonna be like that, huh? So let's go ahead and start a life, I guess. Should I keep the newbie last name? I feel like we have to. And my first name is going to be Simma. Simma, sure. So this is the Sims 1 creative sim. We are going to be a female today. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they have zodiac signs. Did every other Sims game have zodiac signs other than the Sims 4. These are the traits that we can have, so not a whole lot of options. And it's like a point system here, so we can just play around and we get a certain amount of points to give to each trait. I think I'm aiming to keep all of my traits somewhere in the middle here. Our skin tone options are severely lacking. We only have a few to choose from. Same as the body type, I think there's like three options. Wait, what the heck? Not the burglar coming in the window. That's terrifying. By the way, if you guys hear dog snoring, we're just gonna let it happen. It's her birthday, she's five. Everybody say happy birthday. Okay, let's go and change my shirt. I'm not expecting a whole lot of options here. Looks like we've got some very basic t-shirts. Oh, we have classic Bella Goss. Some of these shirts are cute considering, and I don't think we have the option for like a full body look. So it's whatever we find here is what we're gonna wear. I think I'm gonna go for a cropped moment. We'll change the color. The amount of colors that we have is actually pretty impressive for this time as well and for lower body oh the long skirt with the long socks is kind of fire tons of skirt options here i thought we were gonna have like two options to pick from so i'm kind of happy we got some variety and for our shoes i'm probably gonna keep the converse that i had on let's wear them in white all right the fit is looking good my head let's see what we can do here so the faces are pre-made there are no sliders or anything like the other games we can't really go in and find tune any details so we're gonna have to be happy with what we got and the hairs this is probably the worst part of this whole thing here they're all looking a little crazy i feel like the textures didn't quite make it until later sims games maybe i'll go with the bangs and for the colors again not a whole lot of variety and i feel like the darker ones maybe make it a little worse i think i'm gonna keep with the same blonde and then for makeup again everything is pre-made on here so it's like a full face option. We'll do blue eyes and for my accessories. Oh, she's got some hoops. Okay, we're gonna wear that. All right, here's our sim for today. <laughs> Let's get in there. Oh, this is gonna be good. I can feel it. Congratulations, you've created your first sim. Spend a couple minutes trying to get to know them and their surroundings, okay? Welcome to The Sims. Where am I? We have the heart hot tub, classic. What am I doing here? Whose mansion is this? Your thought is as good as mine. Who the heck is that? What? What is going on? Why am I just making out with this guy? Um, do I know you? I'm so confused. Wow, Randy, what are you doing here? Randy, aka random man in my house. Who the heck? Where are they going? I wanted to get into that alone. Tell me he's not getting into that hot tub. Sir, where are your clothes? Am I meant to get in? I don't remember this at all. Okay, I mean, I was gonna go in there anyway. There's a bar in here. What? There's a big TV. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, I'm daydreaming. 
thing. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. What a way to start the game. I wonder if we'll ever see Randy again. Our first little challenge here is called Money from Mom. This is our mom here. Mom is already on me about something. She says, how are we supposed to have any fun around here? I'm missing my soap operas because the TV is broken. Listen, I know if I repair that with no skill at all, I'm gonna die. And do you want that, mom? I don't think so. Let's take a look at mom's house here before we go any further. We've got a bed right in the middle of the living room. Our broken TV. We have a stereo. Is this a wall phone? Oh, it is. I can order a pizza, a gardener. We can call the fire department or the police. Mom is now telling me to learn how to cook. Listen, I will. We've got a bathroom over here and that's kind of the only room that's separated. Down here, we have all of my needs, which seem to be dropping kind of fast. Here are the skills that I'm able to have. We also have my traits and we have our relationships over here. So under the start menu, I have a list of goals that I have to take care of. And these are all going to be different depending on the lot we're currently on. We have to borrow 800 simoleons from mom, cook dinner without starting a fire. I'm scared about that one. And we have to fix the TV. And it looks like we can unlock some objects when we do that too. All right, well, I guess I should study cooking if I'm going to cook anything without dying. And we got a skill point already. That was fast. Oh, my phone is ringing. Go run and get it. Answer the phone. Oh, mom's gonna get it. <laughs> the running. Hello, mom. You're live on the air. Congratulations. You have just won $800 from KSIM Radio. We got enough money to move out already just from one simple phone call. Nice. Okay. All I have to do is study cooking a little more, make myself a meal and fix up her TV. And we're getting out of mom's house already. I'm aiming to get maybe two cooking skill points. I feel like that'll be a safe bet. Okay. We got it. Let's go try and cook. The Sims one is far less forgiving when it comes to these things. Things. So hopefully we don't mess anything up and we have a big mess happening in here too. Okay, we're about to cook some food and it looks like we did it. We cooked dinner for the first time and we unlocked the Arrow Master Whifferpuff Gold. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is, but okay. It's fun that we get to unlock items. I'm still confused about Randy. Like I don't even know him. We're gonna just clean this place up a little more using my trash compactor over here. And okay, let's see if I can gain a mechanical skill point or two before bed so I can fix this TV and we can get out of here. Get the phone, the phone is ringing. I remember the stress of the phone ringing when you're at work and you just can't get it. The game design that you submitted was purchased outright by the publisher. You received 400 simoleons? Why would I even get a job when I could just sit and wait by the wall phone every day? All right, I have two mechanical skill points. Do you think that's gonna be good enough? Let's try it. Repairing anything electrical in The Sims is bad news. So far, so good though. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Yes, we fixed the TV and we unlocked the this vanity table. So all we have to do now is get a job and we're out of here. Okay, we don't have a computer, so we have to go over to the newspaper and find a job right in the middle of the street. There's an opening in the slacker career for a golf caddy, 5 p.m. to 10 a.m. I think maybe we can do a little better. We have the extreme career. I could be a daredevil. 175 a day. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll look one more time. We could be in entertainment for 100 a day. Okay, we're getting that daredevil career 175 per day is the best bet oh no she's saying she's too depressed too depressed to look for a job what fine watch some tv quick i need to clean up these flies that are over here by my food we're taking the daredevil job a car will be sent at 8 a.m thanks sim city times we unlocked a treadmill exciting and we're finally moving out i did one last favor for my little baby go to mr landgrab's house up the street oh my gosh i can't can't wait and give him the rental deposit I lent you. He's got a place that's just perfect for you. We're going to see the land grabs. You completed this house quick. We got a guitar from it. Oh, cool. Beja phone guitar. I didn't think we did it that quick, but thank you. I'm a little bit of a pro at this. What can I say? Reality bites. Um, why is this house burnt? Okay, I guess this is like the land grab house or is this my new house? Who are you? This looks like Lilith Pleasant. Great. I love her hair. Hi, I'm Mimi. My dad couldn't 
make it, but listen up. I trash this place partying too much. You can stay for free if you fix it up. You seem pretty cool. Maybe later you can move in with me and meet all my friends. Okay, Mimi. What do you mean you trash this place from partying? Oh yeah, it's a mess. Everything is broken. There is stuff like all over the floor here. Okay, we're gonna start, I guess, by cleaning this all up. My goals here are to clean it up, fix the broken stuff, upgrade my house, and I have to get a promotion. We need to complete all of these goals so we can move out. So yeah, we just get to go house by house fixing it up basically, which is actually a really cool concept. Maybe if I was better at this game as a kid, I would have actually made it out of mom's house. Oh, someone's at my door. Hold on, is this a welcome wagon? Oh, it's just mom. Wait, who are you? I guess I do need some friends. Oh, look at this greeting. Look at this speech bubbles, I can't. The only options I have here are to talk, ask to leave, and compliment. I think maybe we unlock more as we get to know them, but it's funny how we start off with only three options. Okay, mom's already starting to yell at me again. I, it's been great, you guys, but I really should get to cleaning up my place. The flies are gonna start to come and it's gonna get real annoying. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, mom and Pierre don't like each other. Why? What did you say, mom? Don't embarrass me. I'm genuinely concerned that they might start a fight. She's mocking him. <laughs> He's crying. Oh no. Stop, he's poking her. <gasps> That's it. I can never see this man again. So I spent the next couple hours cleaning up my new place. Oh, we cleaned everything up and unlocked a maid. I will be using that in the future for sure. One thing about Sims in The Sims 1 is they snore so loud. The carpool is arriving in an hour. We have our first day of work today. Oh yeah, by the way, Sims and the Sims 1 work every single day. No days off, no weekends. It could be any day of the week at all times here. And look at my needs. They're so bad. They just drop so fast. We're gonna do a little bit of dancing in our PJs. Look at those moves. Oh, the carpool is here. Okay, I guess we have to cut this short. I love how you can see her sim, by the way, in the bottom left. <laughs> basically doing whatever she's doing. Okay, we need to go get this carpool. In order to get a promotion here, I basically just have to go to work in a good mood, at least for now, since we're starting at level one. So I'm definitely not expecting a promotion today. But going forward in the next couple days, we are going to have to be in the best mood ever going to work. Yay, we're home. Oh, we're gonna get hit by that car for sure. The car honking at me. Girl, get out of the way. Okay, let's try and get some of this stuff repaired. I've repaired the computer. Just gotta feed my fishies. And let's get to repairing this TV. I couldn't quite finish it today because my needs were so bad. So I decided to get a good sleep in hopes of getting a promotion tomorrow. The next morning. All right, my needs are looking a lot better this morning. I'm having her play on the computer to get that fun up a little bit. And my carpool will arrive in an hour. So it looks like we're just doing this until work. Hopefully we've done enough to get a promotion today, but I'm not sure. We did get a promotion. We've been promoted to bungee jump instructor. So we are definitely going to have to start raising our body skills in order to get that next promotion. And we unlocked the slurp and burp beverage cooler, which is like a little cooler. Okay, fun. Good job, Sima. Now I have to get promoted to level Level three, it doesn't just end there. Fine, let's see what else we can buy to get rid of that goal. I'm noticing we have a budget category as well, which is interesting. It shows our household net worth, our income, our bills, what we spend on food. This is actually interesting to see. Okay, let me see what we got in this buy mode here. I want something fun. A pinball machine? Oh my gosh, yes. I wish we had these in The Sims 4. Why is there just a wall missing there? Okay, well, I'm buying the pinball machine for sure, and I guess maybe we can try and build a wall. I'll just like click and hold and there we go. I don't really know what kind of wallpaper I have. There's not really an eyedropper tool and there's no undo from what I can see. So whatever you do is um what you get. So I guess we're getting that wallpaper. But doing that, we unlocked the electronic insect control system. Oh, it's like a bug zapper. Gotcha. We can put that outside. Okay, let's get this dang TV repaired. Oh, Mimi keeps coming back here to check on me. She's kind of intimidating. This place is looking sweet, pretty cool, Sima, but not cool enough. Get your rear in gear or you're out of here. Is this Nancy Landgrab's like great, 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 
great grandma or something. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Okay, we also have to fix this espresso machine and then that should finish off that goal there. And now we can call a handyman if anything else gets broken. We are moving up in the world. Let's come do a workout maybe. We'll do a jog just to uh, increase this body skill. It looks like we need two to level up in our career. She's not in the mood to work out. Our needs aren't even that bad. Who's this at our door? Pauline, I guess we can talk to you for a bit. I'm coming to play with this pinball machine. We need to get our fun up. She's just standing there like, can I have a turn? Oh, she can take a turn. Wait, did she break it? She broke my pinball machine. Pauline, I just fixed everything here. Don't you dare break my espresso machine too, Pauline. I really should fix up this kitchen, but I don't really know how long I plan on staying here in the first place. So I figured it might be better to save my money for when I actually move out. The next day, I tried to see if she would let me work out again. Seriously, who's controlling who in this game? We're starting off by just walking on the treadmill. This is me jogging. <laughs> What am I doing with my hands? I'm like a tiny blonde T-Rex. I don't want to see what run looks like. But okay, we got one skill point here. Oh no, she fell off. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's not happy that that just happened. Get back on there. She made the craziest scream when she fell off of there. <laughs> Okay, so we are not quite good at jogging. She's like, I am not getting back on there again. She whistles so much. At first I was excited to hear it, but she whistles nonstop. It is taking a couple of days to get this next promotion. It is so hard when you don't have much time to do anything other than work. I'm currently calling a repairman to fix my pinball machine so I can just take a break. On the bright side though, Sims 1 Sims can't actually die of old age. In fact, they don't really age at all. So you technically have all the time in the world to complete these goals. Oh god, Mimi, please. I do not need you to yell at me again today. You call that a career? I'm not living with anyone who's not in the right income bracket. I hate her. Get promoted to Whitewater Guide and I'll invite you over. She is such a land grab. I needed to get Mimi out of my hair so after the repairman fixed my pinball machine, I spent all night working out in spite. Which worked wonders, honestly, because I got a promotion the next day. Take that Mimi. We need to advance our body skills again. And we unlocked the top and yaki table. That is so cool. And here comes Mimi. Am I moving out again? Oh, if we don't move, there is going to be a problem with these cars. They are going to be honking nonstop. My dad can sell this place off in no time. Nice job. Why don't you move in with me? Come on, let's go to my new party pad. Honestly, I'm good here. Also, every time you move out, Malcolm Landgrab will personally reimburse you for all the things you bought for the house. So I guess he's not that bad, but I'm definitely not getting rid of Mimi anytime soon. I guess we're out of here? To the party place we go. This section is called party animals. I'm so scared. I can't believe you actually moved in with Mimi. What a loser. Everyone is so mean. You need to find a better roommate, throw some good parties, and improve the decor to attract the right crowd. Betty? Excuse me. This place is even worse than the last one. Okay, but look at this setup. We have a hot tub in ground too. There's a barbecue, which I'm helping myself to. Multiple bedrooms in this house. My kitchen actually has walls this time, even though I'm <laughs> cooking outside. My goals here, I have to get promoted again. We have to upgrade the house, throw a raging party, and move out with one of Mimi's friends at a party? Okay. Honestly, the promotions are gonna be the hardest part of all of this. Do I have a treadmill here? I might, but I don't actually see one, so maybe we should get that out of the way. I'm gonna treat myself to some gym equipment, even though I secretly, no, openly hate working out. <laughs> Maybe I should also buy some stuff for a party. Knowing these sims, we're gonna need a bar, so I guess I'll put that in my house. We'll put it right by the guitar. And doing that, we unlocked a tree swing. Cute! I'm so sweet. I made burgers for everybody. I'm gonna work on getting my skill up again, and I guess now I'm gonna need to focus more on friendships. Maybe we should invite Mimi in the hot tub. Who doesn't love a good hot tub? This is such a Sims 1 vibe. Oh, someone's here. Do you want to join us in the hot tub? This is just how I'm going to become friends with everyone.
everybody. <laughs> I haven't seen any negative interactions while we've been in here, so it seems like it works. Oh, and I can switch to control Mimi. I'm gonna make her clean up everything. I cleaned up after you. The least you could do is clean up your plate. Oh my gosh, and I'm not able to do that. Mimi literally said, I am not doing that. Get off of me. Okay, why do I have to do it? Get Zuma to do it. This girl is out of control. How many ways can I say no? Let me count the ways. Okay, I'm sorry. She's so sassy. Wow, Mimi. Some help you are. Hire a maid to do it. Who do you think you are? You know what? I will hire a maid. It is so hard to do all of this stuff and try and get a promotion. We're gonna hire a maid and hopefully she comes every day because this place is gonna be so messy. $10 an hour. We can afford that. Someone will be over today. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to sleep. I quickly learned that Mimi is basically the worst sim to ever exist. Mimi has missed work today. It's okay to miss one day, but if I make it a habit, I will be fired. Okay. Screw you, Mimi. <laughs> You're getting fired. No wonder. She just didn't get out of bed. She's like, nah, I'm not going today. Our girl would never dare. Our maid is here. I loved the maid outfits. They were so iconic. She's so well needed here. Please help us. It's a disaster. All right, get up, Mimi. You're going to work this time. I don't want to hear it, okay? We need to pull our weight around here and you're going to get fired if you don't go. I wonder what she does. Oh, she's in the slacker career. Wasn't she the one calling me about being in a similar income bracket? I'm trying my best to fit in here by talking to Mimi's friends, trying to get friendly with them. If I'm going to have to move in with one of these people, I better get to know them. Betty seems to be here a lot, so since I know she and Mimi are close, I'm trying to get my relationship up with her. Like, shouldn't you be trying to get a job promotion? I thought you had this work ethic or whatever. I am so sick of being bullied by Mimi while I am trying to get a promotion. I am this close to building a pool and deleting the ladder. Oh, Mimi made a family friend. Instead of like best friends, I guess they have family friends. So we really need to move in with Betty once we have this party. I've basically just been trying to get to know Betty a little better while trying to get the job promotion. We actually also needed that family friend for our our careers, so that's a good thing. I guess Mimi did help us out a little bit after all. Yes, I woke up early to work out today and I got another skill point, which means as long as we're in a good mood, we should get promoted today. Let's go find out. Yes, Sima got promoted. We're now an extreme circuit pro. We're gonna have to develop our logic skill this time and we have to learn how to cook. We're killing it. We unlocked the strip poker table. Are you kidding me? I'm going to buy that and we we are going to throw a party. Of course, I now have to get promoted to level five, which is so annoying. The promotions are really killing me, but we're gonna try and throw that raging party. Where is that strip poker table? I can't believe that's a thing. And it's only 600 simoleons. That is a steal. We're putting that right here. I'm gonna save. Don't touch the memory card. We're gonna go to the phone and throw the party. I don't know how this is gonna go. It's kind of hard to throw parties in like all of the Sims games. Thanks for the invite. Sounds great. I'll be right over with with some friends. I didn't really invite anybody. If you call some more people, we can have a really big bash. Okay. Well, I think the party's here. We should probably greet our guests. Is that Bella Goth? You are royalty. Let me just make sure it is. It might not be, but it's not. It's some girl named Zara. I guess I should get to know all of these friends and I do have the option to ask Betty to be my roommate, but I feel like I should maybe get to know her a little better. Everyone has gathered here in this kitchen. Why is it so dark? No, I passed out at the party. Party. I'm too tired. Get up, Simba. This is embarrassing. This party rocks. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Totally, but I'll take it. This place is a disaster. It's even worse than the other one. We managed to throw the raging party. So all we have to do now is get promoted and move out. Oh my gosh, we got a complaint about the noise. Let's break up the party so people can sleep. From the police department, are they here? Are there police here? I don't see them, but I mean, that means we had a pretty good party, I guess. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm on a mission. I gotta get out of here. I think I have a new work outfit. Look at me. While I'm at work, I'm actually using Mimi to make the friends. Since I now need two family friends for my job, I think they count if Mimi makes them instead of me. Oh my gosh, Mimi can flirt with this guy. Let's do it. Oh, I don't think it's working. I wonder why. She's such a catch. I used this strategy over the next few days where Mimi made the friends and I made the skill points. I tried getting Mimi to fix the toilet and she said, my daddy said Sima would fix this stuff. Oh my gosh, you are literally the worst. But my 
patience and hard work finally paid off. We got the promotion. We've been promoted to Bush Pilot. Oh my gosh, it's the heart hot tub. We're buying this. Actually, maybe I'll wait to buy it until my next house. All I have to do now is move out with one of Mimi's friends, so let's try and throw that party. Okay, all the people are showing up. I'm gonna try and move in with Betty. We have the highest relationship. I'm probably gonna have to get to know her a little better before asking. I can entertain her. She seemed to like that. I actually just unlocked a new create a sim head option. I did not know that was a thing. All right, we are great friends. I'm gonna just ask to be roommate right now. Please, Betty, take me in. Mimi is so mean to me. How is she reacting? We're kind of just doing the same thing. I think, I think it worked. We're hugging. Now this is what I call a party pad. You should move in with me. Then we'll meet some people who really know how to party. There are red flags all over the place, but sure. Yeah, let's go. You completed this house quick. Head in jar curio unlocked. Head in jar. What? There is literally a head in there. Thank you. Okay, I think there are like multiple houses left. We are here in the hot to trot house. <laughs> what is that? All right, this girl wants to party again. My friends are dying to meet you, but first we should finish th some things I promised the landlord I would do. Let me see this house. Oh, it's so cool. We still have the hot tub, thankfully. It looks like we have a jukebox. We've got the strip table. The goal is here. We have to throw a raging party. We have to try and score with a party guest. The same. This one is a whole other game. Try and score. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that in real life. We have to upgrade the house and get promoted likely twice again. Try and score with a party guest. I can't believe that. I need three friends and I guess they didn't transfer over. So Betty, you're gonna have to be the one making all these friends here. There is a literal household called Party Guys. Ziggy, Woody, Randy. Wait, we need to invite over Randy. Oh my gosh, we're finally gonna meet the men of our dreams. I'm gonna have to get Betty to invite him over later today. At least Betty will help us clean up here. Betty also doesn't have a job, so I feel like I should maybe get her one. Join the military career for 250, take it. I think we're gonna have Betty throw a party while I'm at work. Basically so we can get one of the goals out of the way and so I can get her to make more friends. Okay, party's here. We are throwing a lot of parties, it seems. When I click on people, it says try and score. And there's Randy. Oh, we gotta greet Randy. How did we even picture him if we don't even know him? Oh, we're getting in trouble from the landlord. Apparently because I haven't fancied the place up yet. We can't throw parties. Okay, wait, what if I just went into build mode right now, Malcolm? Oh, the spa system is 10,000 simoleons. I really want to buy that. I guess for now we can settle up for the good old pinball machine. This was a hit when I got it last time. And doing that, we unlocked the heart bed. This is so iconic. This is like the most iconic item in the entire Sims franchise. It has to be. Everyone's leaving though because we got shut down by the landlord. It was too late. No, Oh, that's so embarrassing. This living situation is way better though. They're actually helping each other. Betty is actually nice to me. I really couldn't ask for a better roommate. Betty is in the military. We are whipping these party animals into shape here. All right, while I'm at work again, I'm gonna get Betty to throw the party. So when I get home, hopefully people will be here. Hi boys, sorry about that silly landlord. I'm home from work and now I can finally get to know Randy. Sims love this hot tub so much. It's always full at their parties. And over the next few days, I swear all my sims did was party, eat, work out. Wait a minute, is this Jersey Shore? But as I leveled up further in my career, it became so much harder to reach those higher promotions. Sometimes it took days to see any improvement in my skills because my sim would become depressed the second her needs drop. Like I swear she has to pee and she's done for the day. And the promotions were required me to make a ton of friends. Making the friends wasn't the problem. Keeping the friends was a whole different story as the relationships start to drop so quickly. I was able to start to pursue Randy the mystery man though, and we started forming a bit of a relationship. He became a family friend, so I thought maybe I could start to flirt. I'm gonna try and flirt with Randy. This might be a bad idea. I'm super tired and it's like midnight. Betty is sleeping. It is not working. I feel like their friendship needs to be so high for it to work. Ugh, okay, I guess I'll get our friendship up to 100 before
before I try that again. Right before throwing our next party, Betty was cooking up some food for us like she normally does. Oh no, a fire. I was just starting to throw a party. Get out of here. No, all of my party guests are running in here. This is such a bad idea. I guess Sims haven't really changed much in that sense, have they? Well, just gonna act like nothing just happened? Right, okay. After days of working my butt off, literally, I reached level six of my career and we unlocked the sonic shower. This looks high tech. Of course, before we move, we have to get to level seven. And to do that, we need a million more skill points. I thought I could celebrate my promotion with Randy by trying to score since we were flirting so much. I had my first kiss, but I got rejected so hard. This guy literally said, and I quote, Ugh, don't touch me. You're just a mountain climber. If you get more money, then you get more me. I have so many words for this guy. I chose a creative outlet for my anger this time. Ooh, and I can sell my paintings. I wonder how much my paintings gonna go for. Wait, one little simoleon? It is so much easier to get the creativity skill up too because they're actually having fun while they're painting. Uh oh, I haven't been paying my bills. Sim City Savings and Loans has noticed a lag in the payment of your debt. If we do not receive payment immediately, serious action will be taken. I kind of forgot that Sims 1 has bills. Although that took a long time to get back to me. I haven't paid a single one and it's been like three weeks. 867 simoleons. Oh no, they've just wrapped up I have so many bills to pay and we just made over 10,000 simoleons too I thought we were doing great turns out we've got thousands of dollars in bills to pay they're both asleep on the floor this game is so hard what I was at work and I forgot to attach my safety line an unexpected fall has cost you two body points that is so ruthless do you know how long this took me to get those oh I hate everything about that as I said this game is so unforgiving now I need to gain two more body points I was almost there for my promotion. Oh, I'm so mad. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. Oh no, I think Betty might die. The Grim Reaper is so scary. I don't know if it's the graphics, but the Grim Reaper in this game is so scary. Betty died. Though the body is gone, the spirit will always remain. What do I do now? Oh no, because Betty died, my game is over. No, I'm still alive. What about me, Sima? What? I can't believe this. So if I get a life, is it just over? Load. What if we try? I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, she's back. Hold on. I think we get another chance if we do this this way. It just reloaded to my save point. Okay, I'm on a mission to finish this storyline. So that's what we're gonna do, but RIP Betty in a different world. That was insane. That means I need to regain all my skill points again because I got the same message losing my body skill points like a couple minutes later again. But I did reward myself by buying the beloved heart hot tub. This game is making me appreciate the difficulty level of The Sims 4. Yes, it is definitely a lot easier, but that allows you to spend more time doing things that you actually want to do. Sometimes when you're playing this game, it feels like you are living your life, but like only the worst possible parts. I finally got promoted to level seven. We unlocked the artist block, which looks like I could use it for sculpting. All we have to do now is try and score with a party guest. Let's see how that goes. I have had no luck flirting. And even though I got promoted, Randy still isn't interested. I have no option to even flirt with him. However, Betty has a friend, Peter, who I think might just work out. We got along well. He even brought me flowers the next day and judging by the fact that Randy <laughs> sucks. I was not surprised when he got jealous as I was flirting with Peter, but I was surprised when he hit him and then made him leave the house. Don't be like Randy. We got the last laugh though when we stepped outside and I finally tried to score with our guest. Oh, I think it's gonna work. Is it finally happening? Hold on. Uh, this is us trying to score? Are we proposing? <laughs> Wait, you want to get married? Wait, I didn't know that's what score meant this whole time. Am I the only one who did not think that's what score meant? Okay, I guess we're getting married. Are we getting married right here, right now? What? This is not what I thought was going to happen. But eat that, Peter, you dink. This is so funny. Okay, I guess we're having a wedding right here on the front porch with everyone just awkwardly staring at me. This is so weird. I swear I remember like a propose option or something. Malcolm is calling and he owes me over 7,000 simoleons. Are we finally moving out? Oh, we are. We have this house and then one more to complete it, I think. This chapter here is called Who Loves You? 
baby. Oh no, are we gonna have to have a kid? I arrived here in a limo. Mom is so happy she could cry. My little Sima married. I talked to Mr. Lingrab into letting you set up your nest in this house he's renovating. Use it as you wish. Sorry about the clutter. Oh, I think I have to furnish this one myself. It's pretty empty. She said sorry about the clutter, but there's literally nothing here. But we have a heart bed and a heart hot tub. Hold on. I think I'm supposed to like move all this stuff out like decorate with it because everything is just piled into this room and i highly doubt we can use it like this my only goal is to get promoted to level eight and upgrade my abode all right let's move some stuff around i guess heart hot tub obviously going outside maybe we can bring the bar out there too what else we got a piano a jukebox we've got a huge tv i feel like such an amateur builder building like this right now like building on console and building in an old sims game i feel Feel like i've never built a day in my life i think the wallpaper and flooring are just like drywall so we're gonna add some flooring maybe some red carpet to match my heart bed i hate the way there's no undo i just put red leopard print wallpaper on the outside of my house oh there's a switch button there okay so red wallpaper for my bedroom beautiful i feel like we're gonna be here a while so i'm gonna try and make my place actually look good i can't center anything either by the way so if it's gonna have to be off i'm just gonna put it over in this corner. Maybe I'll get an animal print rug to match my animal print wallpaper. What else? I've got some dining chairs. I guess this is gonna be my dining room here. And I already have an artist block for this room, so I think this is gonna be like a creativity room. I'll buy myself an easel. I need some wallpaper for my dining room. I still need a stove and a fridge. I'm getting a smoke detector just in case. And I haven't experienced any burglars, but we should probably get a burglar alarm. You never know, safety first. And I don't really have the greatest choices for wallpaper so I guess this is gonna have to do and I think now everything is moved where it's supposed to be. I only have about 2400 simoleons left so I'm gonna be spending that on a shower and I also need a kitchen sink. I'm gonna get one more counter just in case I need it for prep and of course we also need a couple trash cans. I believe that's everything we need for now. Look at my new house. I definitely need more things like lighting I think. Let me just buy some of that real quick but I did manage to get rid of that upgrade your abode goal there. The heart bed has the option to vibrate. Ugh, I want it in The Sims 4 so bad. But how cute is my house? This is the first one that actually feels like mine. I still have a very long way to go to get anywhere near that next promotion, so I think I'm gonna end it here. This has honestly been quite the journey. I likely spent around 15 hours getting to this place in the game, and judging by my progress in the loading screen, I think there was only one more lot to unlock. Lock. Apparently after we get a promotion in this level, we have to get another promotion. Then we have to upgrade the home, have two babies, take care of the babies, and keep the kids in school. Then we finally move into Malcolm Landgrab's mansion, which is the one from the dream in the beginning. And to finish this off, you have to get promoted to level 10, send the kids to prep school, save 20,000 simoleons for a yacht, and then you have to throw a party after you've completed all of the goals. So although we didn't get to the the end of this playthrough, I really did enjoy my time playing The Sims 1 storyline on console. I definitely never got this far as a kid. Obviously, I'm not criticizing this game at all because I will always love this game, but the gameplay itself did get kind of frustrating for me at times, but that made me even more thankful to see how much the game has improved over the years. And for its time, this game was groundbreaking on PC and on console. The fact that the franchise is still so popular over 24 years later genuinely says so much about the impact the game has had. You can't build a tower without a solid base, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm in a huge old Sims games phase right now. I've played a few older ones on my channel lately and I plan on doing more as you saw at my binder of old games. <laughs> I would love to play The Sims 1 on PC with the expansions at some point, so let me know any Sims games you want to see me play in the future. And if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next next one.